All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I bring you my reaction as a rugby player, of course, to the top 100 players, in the top 100 NFL players in 2022. Uh, number 43, to be exact. Derwin James, safety for the Chargers. Let's go. A favorite play from last year. Um, I feel like all of them, just being back out there for me, because everybody know I went through adversity the last two years. So just taking every snap last year, I feel like for me was... A key moment. I like the attitude. I like the humbleness. I'm gonna ride for y'all, man. Let's ride for each other, bro. Let's fight for each other all night. I'm not sure about the hair, but with that in mind, let's have a look at his profile and let's just see what kind of adversity he did go through. Nick Minnett. 1996. August 3rd. 26 years of age, 6 foot 2, 215 pounds. As a safety, that's pretty, fairly decent, fairly decent sized. Um, went to Florida State from 15 to 17, got picked up in the first round of the 2018 draft with pick number 17. Been at the Chargers ever since. Two-time first team All-Pro selection, 2018 and 2021. Two-time Pro Bowler, 2018 and 2021. So I don't know what happened in 19 and 20, but he certainly came into the league with a bang and, well... Let's have a look. 447 for the 40 yard dash. 40 inches on the vertical jump. 11 foot on the broad jump. 21 reps on the bench. He is an athletic freak. I'm not going to lie. He was ranked 31st on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2019. And if you want to see that video, well, by all means. But on August 15th that year, it was revealed that he had been dealing with a stress fracture. A stress Stress fracture. The injury required surgery requiring a maximum of three months. A maximum of three months to recover. He was placed on the injured reserve on September 1st, 2019. He was de designated for return from injured reserve on November 25th, 2019 and began practicing with the team again. He was activated on November 30th, 2019. Okay, that's all we hear from that season. On September 5th, 2020, he was placed on season-ending injured reserve after undergoing surgery to repair a torn meniscus. Ugh. He was placed on the reserve list by the team on December 15th, 2020 and moved back to injured reserve on January 7th, 2021. So not a lot happened in 2021. I'm assuming he came back for a couple of games in 2019, had the whole entire 2020 season out, and then in 2021, they exercised the fifth year option on his contract, guaranteed salary of $9 million for the 2022 season, and balled out, of course, August 17th, 2022, literally a week ago, he signed a four-year, $76.4 million contract extension with the Chargers. Oh, I'll tell you what, after a lot of adversity, a lot of adversity, taken out of the league for almost two years, comes back, enters the top 100 list, makes the Pro Bowl, gets a first-team All-Pro selection, and signs a four-year $76.4 million contract. Well, all right. There you go. Five games played in 2019, no games played in 2020, all 15 games played last year. 100, well, I mean, there were 17. He played 15. 118 combined tackles. Uh, two interceptions, two sacks, five passes deflected, three force fumbles. So he he is all over the place. He's he certainly is. But but was it enough to to warrant a first team All Pro selection? Well, let's find out. I promise we're gonna like what we see. Fight for the man next to you, man. Let's go. Fully recharged, Derwin James was back to being electric on the gridiron. Oh my god, let's have a look at that again. This was back to being electric on the oh. gridiron. <laughs> oh no. Alright, maybe it's not the amount of tackles. Maybe it's the... Well, I've seen that number 33 before. With a guy who's got zero regard for his own safety. Um, is that how jo Derwin James plays? Let's see. Oh yeah, I think it might be. Chargers trying to spring it out. They do a great job. Derwin James. When you talk about an explosive tackle, he ran right through him. One of those guys that's <laughs> highlighted in the scouting report that you want to keep an eye on. Yeah, 
hand off to Cook. There's Derwin waiting for him. No gain. Stay feeling it. Keep hitting him. I'll tell you what, if there's one thing for sure, you ain't going to go through him. Stay feeling it. Tackles him strong. And I'm, from what I've seen so far, you're not going to go over him either. You're going to have to go around him. Inside the five. That's one heck of a play by Derwin. Go against guys like him. Brings the best out of you. Brings the best out of them. It's like that's the mode that you want to play in. Like you want to be challenged. He's a real deal. Jackson, middle of the field, and a huge tackle. Oh, ball down. Derwin James stripped it, and it is broken up by Derwin James. I mean, there's so many blitzes that, you know, he's coming off the edge, like just kneeling the quarterback, you know, in the back. <laughs> oh, no! Shot out of a cannon. Drilled Baker Mayfield in the back. Here comes Derwin on the blitz. Car rolls it away. Nobody there's there. Nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> there's nobody there. That's what Derwin James does to you. It's a safety that really we all admire. He has the size, the speed. You know, he can defend the run, defend the pass. He's got some good size for a safety. Blitz. He can do it all. He's a total package guy in, in a total package body. Fix today. <laughs> you heard No picks today. No picks today. Hey, can I? Piss me off, bro. I remember he had a dive in the step. I want to say it was against the Broncos. Drew Locke was rolling out, try to get it out, and he come from out of nowhere oh. and just dives. Oh, mate. Hang on. Have they both got their hands on the ball at the same time? Yet Derwin James keeps it. That pass was sick, I'm not going to lie. He has, you know, true ball skills. You know, he can be an impact defender. He got a pick on me in the, uh, in the first game. He had outside leverage on an outside breaking route. Throwing left. Intercepted! He won. Oh, who's gonna Oh. Alright, can we see the can we see the extension of the play, please? Can can Darren Waller actually chase him down? Pick and that was like a game Let's look at this. Derwin James That's what I want to see. To bed. Can Darren Waller so get him? He just hasn't been out there enough, but Oh he can probably one of my new favorite people to play against. It's just like the war, the back and forth. It's just like it's definite respect there at all times. Hey, send that to me, Jim. Alright, no, show. All of us were happy Shout. for him. We really seen him play a full seed. What did he say? The war, the back and forth. It's just like, it's definite respect there at all times. Hey, send that to me, Jim. All of us. Oh, they're going to do a jersey swap. We're happy for him. We really seen him play a full season. Stay healthy, bro. Good to see you out here, bro. He's still, you know, one of the best versatile safeties in the league. Every play, I feel like, was just surreal for me. I love playing football, and I... I'm a competitor, so I just had that urge, that itch to be back out there. That, that feeling of just knowing you can do something, but just having a chance to prove that you can do it, you know. Absolutely. Oh, he'd be absolute, He'd be so stoked to be out there this year, balling out. And I'll tell you what, there's got to be some real confidence. There's got to be, you know, some, um, it, well, basically you've just got to, you've got to push through the mental barriers as far as coming back from an injury to play at the top of your game again. I mean, we saw it in in um, Dak Prescott in the, in the previous video. So, look, I, I just absolutely love seeing any player come back from injury, and especially the ones who come back and, and play the best football of their lives. I mean, there's nothing better. Did I get goosebumps, that video? No, I didn't. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. In the next one, we're looking at Cam Haywood, and uh, that's not him. Cheers, and I'll see you soon.